Because of the flexible and adaptable nature of the EP platform, it's something that can be utilized to help cope with staff shortages and absences. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the different ways that we've outlined here in our help article. You can use the EP platform to help alleviate some of the pressures with uh, teacher absentees and shortages. The first thing to mention, when it comes to our resources, everything is curriculum aligned. Uh, our Discover tab here inside of the platform will help new teachers to be able to navigate around, find content relevant to where these students are at, or alternatively, they can check a look into our library. Within the library, we've also got all of our content aligned, can be browsed in a more minute type of way and built into our library in a lot of our subjects as well. If we come into the teacher resources space, we have EP curriculum maps. Navigate through to the part of the curriculum that's most relevant to you and you'll find these documents here that will outline each of the different alignments of our lessons to the key parts of the curriculum. These of course can be downloaded, kept on file and can be made available to your temporary teachers. When it comes to adding in teachers temporarily to the platform, you can drop them in from the homepage here, click on the add button, select teacher, drop in their details, and they'll receive an email to be able to access the platform. Once teachers are inside the platform, they're also then able to see any of the classes that are set up, whether their names are attached to them or not. This becomes really important when we're assigning work through and helps with collapsed classes. Let's jump over and take a look at how that works now. So we're here inside our task assignment where I can set learning up for my students. As you can see, I've already got some classes that are assigned here to my name, but it's also possible here under all classes to see every other class that's here inside the system. If I click on that, I can then assign to maths classes, I can assign to French classes, whoever so happens to be inside the school can all be assigned to. This also is a benefit if we're having to collapse classes down and assign to specific students or assign to groups of students. And once we've select any of our classes, we then also have the option here to select which students do or do not receive that work. So if we happen to know that some students are away for the day, we can deselect them as an option and the work won't be assigned through on their side. When it comes to keeping tabs on what students have been doing, whether we're the teacher that's assigned the work and we're away or we're the teacher on duty looking after the students, we can come into our task or assessment and head to the monitor tab. The monitor tab is gonna provide not only a record of everything that's happened prior, but will also show any student activity as they come into the platform. Here we can see that Ron has come into the activity and as they're working their way through, their progress will start to show up here inside the platform. If they start to go off topic or if they're heading outside of the platform, it's also gonna show up here as well that the student is off task or has moved away from what they need to do. So if we're the teacher monitoring on duty, we'll be able to pick that up, come back in, help to encourage the student to get back onto their task itself. Uh, alternatively, if we are the teacher who's reviewing this later, we'll be able to see this record here that the student has jumped off and can dive in and look at these individual students records as they've gone through the platform as well. Now, if a teacher is going to be away for a sustained period of time, then it's also possible to set up a competition. Competitions, whilst creating competition between students, also allow you to set a body of work that students can then choose their way to work through you know, in the time allotted to them. So here I've selected a number of different subjects and topics that students can work their way through, and we can set that competition up and take a look at what it looks like from a student's perspective. So we're here inside the student side of the platform, pretending here to be Ron Weasley, our student from our uh, lesson before. And coming up to the competitions tab, this is when we can jump in and see this work that's here. You can see our competition is live. We have a scoreboard that we can access, but if we come through to compete, it's gonna provide the student with a guide of the different types of subjects they can jump into and they can browse their way through to begin any of the lessons they actually wanna take a look at. All of the points accumulated in here, are going to go towards their score and move them up. We can set these different rewards tiers to help give students an expectation of what they need to get to. So we can say that all students will need to get a bronze by the time that work is completed uh, or by the time the competition ends in 18 days and that will set kind of a minimum level of engagement that's there. Now, of course, if students have been assigned work and they've worked their way through everything that's there, they can also browse the content independently. So we're here inside the English and Literature subject space and the student's able to go through and browse any of the different types of lessons we have in our library. It's possible for you to restrict what students can see or create folders for them that also contain more relevant content. So you can also use that option there. So these are just some of the many ways you can use the EP platform when you are absent or to help cover some of those teacher absences. If there's anything here you wanna dive into more, reach out and get in touch with our team. We're here to help support however we can.